Australia is a beautiful country. I love living in Australia. So I hate it when I see all of these videos on YouTube making up bullshit reasons about why you shouldn't live here or even visit. Well, this one came to my attention recently. 10 reasons not to visit Australia. Now I'm always keen to give people the benefit of the doubt because the thing with ignorance is until you know the answer, it's not really your fault, is it? And I have to trust this guy because he's got a shirt full of mushrooms. Seems legit. Hello again losers, losettes, degenerates and degenerates and today I am giving you 10 solid reasons why you should never visit Australia. So is that the way that you've got to do it? You've got to insult the people watching your video and then for effect always go very high on things that you want to talk about. He's going to say some dodgy stuff, isn't he? So reason number one not to visit Australia is obviously the fact that it is not real. Australia isn't real. Please tell me why that is the case. If you attempt to go there, you go on the plane, you're just going to be drugged up and you're going to be brainwashed. Uh, it's not going to be a very fun time for you. You might think it's a fun time, but it's not. And really what you're doing is you're just feeding money to the New Zealand government and you are wasting your money. So I think this guy has been eating some of those mushrooms on his shirt. When I came to Australia and we kind of documented it a little bit, no one gave me drugs. I had a few beers while I was trying to look after my 18 month old or well, she just ran up and down the aisles on our plane when it had about 35 people in it because of flight caps i was drugged and brainwashed what happened to you then my friend you'd think if you basically lived in your bedroom all the time you put a little bit more decoration up around on your walls rather than just sitting in the darkness slowly rocking backwards and forwards looking at the mushrooms on your shirt i would say don't do that uh going from there though the rest of these reasons i'm going to give are going to be assuming like, just pretend Australia was real, for example, or even... Let's pretend. Say it's not real, but these are the things you're going to be thinking about while you're, like, hallucinating and you'll think these things happened. Um, and either way, they're just as bad. Hang on a minute. While you're hallucinating. So, so in his mind, you get on the plane, you get drugged up, you hallucinate all of these things, which he's then going to talk about, and then they just fly you back and you've missed two weeks, a month of your life while you visited this fictitious place and given all of your money to the New Zealand government. Maybe that's the reason why sometimes they put the New Zealand flag, like other videos spouting this kind of crap. I figured it out. So reason number two not to visit Australia is that there are spiders that are bigger than birds. It's bad enough that they've got various spiders that are very poisonous, uh, such as the funnel web. Mate, it's not poisonous, it's venomous. If you're eating spiders, you've got a problem. Just don't let the bite you. Just don't go near them. Especially if apparently they're the size of birds. Wait, do we have any of the size of birds in Australia? I hope not. Um, they've got loads of horrible spiders. But yeah, some of these spiders are actually bigger than birds. Uh, and that is horrific. You have bird-eating spiders. That is not anything I want to be near. That is just, it, it should not exist. Uh, that's It's like one of these big spiders of Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets. Um, not, not happening. I do not recommend going there. So the best way to avoid all of these bird-sized spiders is just to not visit the country. I mean, you got it right, mate. Don't go near them. But you can go in the same country, and if they're as big as you say, when you see one, just don't go near it. The thing's like the size of a cricket ball. You're gonna see them if they're that big. They're not hiding, waiting to jump out at you. God, imagine what a world that would be like. It's probably the same world you'd be in if you ate all of those mushrooms on his shirt. Reason number three is a pretty simple one, and it's that you're you're gonna get headaches, and those headaches are gonna come from being upside down so much. <laughs> uh, that's just the way gravity works, folks. Obviously, if you are like, Australia is supposedly at the bottom of the globe, the rest of the world's up at the top of the globe. So if you go down to Australia, I mean, if, okay, you may argue, oh, it's a donut earth. But anyway, the point is Australia is the opposite way around. It's flipped. That's, as, as we already established in a previous video, sometimes... In a previous video, this guy has to be a comedian. He's, he's my me right now no you can't believe this kind of stuff can you uh the australians or the australians don't quite understand what i'm saying because i'm coming at them from the wrong orientation uh they probably won't understand this video either they'll be in my comments leaving hate saying you're a lot of nonsense <laughs> you they wish. just don't understand so we need to be patient with them uh but yeah headaches from being upside down the way gravity works they're upside down all the time that's why they've got all these other issues as well that's the reason why they've got other issues australians do have lots of issues but I don't think being upside down like a bat is the reason why. Uh, number four, too much sand. There is way too much sand in that country. Sorry, that place, that fake place. Too much sand. It's basically like one big sand. desert. It's like a beach without the water. It's like even worse than the beaches. 
just it's, it's horrendous and I really do not recommend going anywhere that has that much sand. Uh, number five is the accents. Uh, as we all know, the accents in Australia are one of the worst accents in the world, especially male Australian accents. <laughs> they are very, very uh, irritating, um, very annoying. Uh, not something you want to hear on a day-to-day -day basis. What's more irritating than an Australian male's accent? Probably mine, actually, is the reason. I'm not going to say this guy, because obviously a Scottish male's accent is slightly intriguing, because you're always trying to wonder out exactly what it is that they've just said. But this guy's accent can't be irritating, because I can't stop watching the drivel that's coming out of his mouth. Not something you want to spend your whole trip listening to, so I would not recommend going there. You'd be just as well maybe buying some earplugs if you do insist on going. <laughs> Number Clear six out, mate. is Isaac Butterfield. I don't know why you'd want to be in the same country as Isaac Butterfield. Seems really strange, especially he's a man who constantly says his dick stinks. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to be near someone who's, whose dick stinks. That's pretty disgusting. I don't want to be near that man. I don't want to be in the same uh, half of the world as he's on. So, yeah, do not go near Isaac Butterfield. <laughs> he really does have a thing against Isaac. I mean, don't get me wrong. You're absolutely right. Why would you want to stand near a person whose apparently stinks but he is quite funny and he does speak his mind a bit like him oh imagine what they'd be like in the same room i would pay to watch that i would pay to watch these two go at it as to why the country that isaac is from and the one that i live in doesn't exist number seven is uh bindi irwin and i put this one on the list just because i know it will piss some people off don't have a go at bindi why would you want to piss people off? What's she done? Uh, I don't really know anything about Bindi Irwin other than that she is Steve Irwin's uh, daughter. And uh, I know that people get really annoyed when I say bad things about Steve Irwin. So I'm going to do that again right now. Steve Irwin's an overrated uh, wuss. And anyone could take a stingray if they weren't a wuss. Like a, a, st a stingray sting. Wow, that really hurts. As I said before, I could take five of those for breakfast and I wouldn't even bat an eye. Obviously, he was just a worse and very overrated. Steve Irwin is the national treasure. And regardless of the way that he died, why would you talk that ill of the dead? I have to assume that this guy is taking the piss and that this is some form of dark comedy. But you have to say that there is, sometimes is a line where you can't really step over it regardless of who the person was. What Steve done wrong to you, mate? The guy died. So let's take the piss out of him by claiming that you're more of a man. Someone Australian. Next, uh, we have number eight, Nation of Convicts, and that's because Australia is a nation built on convicts. It's just, it's, that, that's what happened. It's like other countries sent all their prisoners over there as a big colony of prisoners, and now, now we're just to expect that that's like the place. Like, that's the place that we want to go visit. A place built by convicts, built on convicts, populated by convicts, by murderers. Most of the people that came to Australia got sent there for minor crimes, like stealing bread. You get criminals all over the world. Is Australia a nation built on convicts? Probably. First Nations people were here already, so they'd already done their element of building. But why don't you just look at the crime statistics, mate? Australia is actually a very safe country to live in. Kevin Bridges talks about his time in Glasgow when he nearly got stabbed for not paying a pound. Give me a quid. Or you're getting stabbed. I thought a quid. Oh, that's quite reasonable. <laughs> Would you rather live there? I, I wouldn't feel very safe if I wanted to do that. Why, why wouldn't I just go visit my local prison? I could do that much, much cheaper. Wouldn't have any of these other negatives as well. So yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, number nine is Vegemite breath. Uh, Vegemite is disgusting. It is vile. He probably hates Marmite too. And uh, yeah, Australians eat this. Most of them do. And so if you're near an Australian, it's very likely that you're going to smell their Vegemite breath. And uh, that does not sound pleasant in the slightest. And I must have lost all of my sense of smell when conversing with Australians or anyone who lives in Australia because I don't really smell the Vegemite breath anymore. Is it because I've got Vegemite breath myself? Have I got any Vegemite in my teeth? I cut down on my Vegemite addiction. Moving on from Vegemite breath, we're still talking about smells and it's the fact that the whole country is too hot. It's just it's, it's <laughs> hot. And I don't appreciate places that are... Uh, above 20 degrees for most of the year that's that's just a horrific sort of thing to think about it's that's pretty clear to see mate because it seems like you haven't actually seen the sun in quite a long time get a bit of vitamin d in you mate and anything above 20 degrees you might sweat no one wants a sweaty pale angry man no it's not pleasant and uh we all know australians don't shower so they probably all smell bad as well <laughs> so if it isn't their vegemite breath getting you it's going to be their body odor so yeah number 10 everyone smells bad because it's too hot 
Anyway, folks, there is 10 reasons as to why you should never visit Australia. Uh, if you have any further questions or you would like me to elaborate, then please let me know in those comments down below. And leave a like because I know you all like these videos because they are fantastic videos, very informative, and I'm sure you have been educated way better than your school system ever did for you. You're welcome. Mate, this guy is absolutely glorious. Thank you. I am very welcome of all of the things that you have taught me because of my failed education system. I'd love to think that this guy is a genuine comic genius because not at one point did he break character and it was like all in one take. It was fantastic. Because I can only say that that's a better assumption than him being an angry Scottish pale man living in a flat somewhere in Glasgow, talking to his computer hoping that people will leave comments to fuel his insanity. Well, at least he's got the guts to show his face as well. And if you've managed to watch this video all the way to the end, then watch this video about some idiot spouting shit about Australia again. See you later.